Today on the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, we'll finish singles pointer action. All these teams shot their way through rigorous head-to-head -head action to get here. There are three quick, clean runs, all six minutes or below, sitting on top of the loyal leaderboard. They'll be hard to beat, but it can be done. Can Craig Steinbach stay on top, or will he be pushed aside? Here, 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 here. Stay tuned to see who will become our new world champion. Welcome to Pattern Masters Bird Dog Circuit World Championships. This year's championships, which are our ninth consecutive, are being held in Anita, Iowa at Hanson's Outfitters in the rugged hill country of southwestern Iowa. Over 200 teams of dogs and handlers are vying to prove that they're the best in the world. This year's field has come from the best of the bird dog circuit and national champions from NUX and the UFTA. I'm Mark Hillman. I'll be joining Charlie Journey to help bring you exciting action from Pattern Masters BDC World Championships. On today's show, we'll be finishing up the singles pointing finals. Before we start our singles finals action, let's review the rules. Each dog must find, point for three seconds, and retrieve five birds within 15 minutes. Handlers must shoot flawlessly and dogs must retrieve to hand. Missed shots, caught birds, unless deemed non-performers result in a five minute penalty. Partial retrieves or moving during the retrieve results in a two and one half minute penalty. Handlers call time after receiving and controlling the fifth bird. The team with the fastest time wins. Last week, Craig Steinbach climbed atop the loyal leaderboard with the German short hair pointer Jackson. Craig shot cleanly and Jackson pointed and retrieved all five birds to stop the clock with a 445. Our first team this week is Craig Steinbach and Joey. Craig Steinbach trains and handles great dogs. He's been able to get three dogs to these finals by way of excellent dog work and great field management. In this run, Craig will be handling Adam Banami's liver and white English pointer, Joey. This dog is highly favored to win the Puppy of the Year. Can Joey lead Craig down the field to top the times already set by the prior teams? All right, Joey. Joey! Looking forward to seeing this young pup get out in the field and see what it can do with the big dogs. Now this is kind of unique, Charlie. Craig's already been out in the field and set a high mark. He knows he's got to beat a 445. Joey, 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 here. Joey, Joey. Let's hear what Craig has to say about this breed. Joey. The biggest thing about Joey and, and a lot of the English pointer breeds is their athleticism. They're, um, you know, they're built like a, like a running athlete, thin skin, thin hair, um, built for speed, um, a lot of horseback trials. AKC American Field um, are very popular for English pointers. Okay, Joey. All right, Joey's on point. Joey's He's moving him right. forward with a tap on the head. Right, Charlie, and you see Craig tap that dog on the head, and that's basically telling the dog that it can relocate until it picks up a stronger scent cone. And you look at that right there. Right there, Joey. Uh, right Craig there. would have never been able to take that Joey. low shot if that dog right wasn't steady. Nice dog work. Very, very nice dog work. Right here. Joey, here. He's 19 seconds behind one of his previous runs. Now we're on to bird three. Joey! And again, sometimes for these players, these seconds tick off and they feel like minutes. And Craig knows. I mean, with that 445 he said earlier, he doesn't know if it's leading right now, but he knows Joey! that's a great run. And he's really got to hustle to beat that. He's got okay, this Joey. point. Let's see if the dog can hold. Very nice shot. Come on, buddy. Come on, Joe. Wow, these two have a great run going so far. Come on, buddy. All right, right, let's go. We're off again. He's now only 10 seconds behind his leading time. Come on. All right. And again, you can see there, Craig's really pushing the limit. And you know, you can get, you, you can't run. So if the judge thinks that he's, he's going too fast, he will get a warning. And if the judge warns him the second time, he'll get DQ'd. 
So obviously the pace is okay. Point! This is the last bird now, he's got it on point. And he knows he's right there. He knows he's right within that four, that high four minute run. So this is, this is a little nerve wracking for him. Uh, the bird went right back down. Very nice shot. Right there, Joe. Looks like he's still gonna get in under here. six minutes with a Come very, very nice run. Here, time. <laughs> Come here, buddy. He's excited, here, that was a great run. It's too hard to keep this dog in these little, these little pockets. Coming up on the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, it's Bill Berner and his English setter, Willie. Do Willie and Bill have what it takes to beat a 445? Stay tuned and we'll find out when we return to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. The Pattern Master BDC World Championships are brought to you by Pattern Master Code Black Upland, the science of shot. Loyal dog food. If the question is trust, the answer is loyal. Tritronics, making it easier for dogs to learn since 1968. Cox Unlimited, the finest pheasant hunting in South Dakota. Beaver Dam Kennels, when you want it done right. And the National Bird Dog Circuit, the ultimate upland challenge. The Science of Shot. Good girl. Loyal for a lifetime of legendary hunt seasons. Hi, I'm Jack Heim. I'm from Summit, New Jersey. This is my dog, Dusty, and you're watching Pattern Masters BDC World Championships. Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. At this year's World Championship, the players gathered for a banquet at the Anita Firehouse. During the banquet, we raised over $2,500 for an ambulance for the Anita community. This was our way of telling the town of Anita, thank you. Next up, we have Bill Burner and Willie. What can you tell us about them, Mark? Bill and his English setter, Willie, are a local team. This team has a number of championships to their name, including three major and three super major victories. Bill is the 24th ranked player in the world. He is also the current point leader in the Masters Pointing Division. This has all the makings for an interesting run. What a great view here as the sun is setting go, in Willie. Iowa. We've got Bill and Willie entering the field. Bill gets his gun in position here as as Willie looks like he's locking in on this first bird. Point! We got a point right here, Mark. Bill's just got to try to get this bird in the air and Not you can performer. see it moving right there. And Not performer! He just called non-performance, picking the bird up. Go. Well, and that is legal. If he if he makes at least three attempts to, to get that bird in the air, uh, he can deem that non-performing. Uh, we got another point here on bird three. Four minutes in. Nice solid point by Willie. There's your bird. Good shot. What here? That was a nice shot and great follow through by Bill. Oh no, he bumped another bird. Oh my gosh. 
Bill opts to shoot the, the bird that has popped on the way back by his dog, and it looks like he dropped a leg. He definitely hit that bird. Right. Uh, right and he flies out of the field. Right. Here. And I see right. Willie does right. not have the other bird in his mouth. Right. So Willie dropped the bird that he had in his mouth when Bill yeah. shot the second one that flew out of the field, and now he's trying to get Willie to that down bird. Fetch. Now Willie's on point. Uh, Bill threw an yeah. object to try to get Willie to that bird that was down, and look oh, at there, another, another, another bird pops. Why? Wow, this is unbelievable. So Willie, Willie retrieves the here. bird that, that Bill shot there, here. Come here. Come here. and still has an opportunity to get a partial. And the viewers won't be able to see it. We didn't have time to show it, but that's exactly what Bill does and actually ends up with a seven minute and 30 second penalty with what took place. Let's see what Bill has to say about his dog, Willie. One thing he does extremely well is quarter back and forth. And uh, I'm just gonna let Willie go out there and I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna try not to over control him because he, he knows the game uh, as well as I do or even, maybe even better. We're on to bird five. And folks, I've got to reiterate, you know, I played this game a long time, and, and if you do it so long, you're going to have some bad luck. And, and I, really, I really, I'm not making light of the situation here, but Bill, Bill has had a tremendous Here. amount of bad luck in this run. Here. And like I said, if you do this long enough, it's going to happen. Here, hold, 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 hold. It looks like Bill Time. is finally going to stop the clock. He did, he did magnificent, but I think you saw the pitfalls that we run into there. Uh, I dinged that bird that, that uh, made it back to the trucks, and then Willie dropped the one that, that already shot, and so we had to take a partial retrieve, and I get an extra shot. Coming up after the break, Bernie Birkenholz is back in the field with Armani. Can this duo beat the 445 posted by Craig Steinbach and Jackson? Yeah. We will find out when we return to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. The Science of Shot. I'm John Leffler and this is my dog BB and you're watching the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. On our last run, Bill Barner experienced some bad luck on this bird. Let's send it down to our certified shooting instructor, Elizabeth Lanier, to learn more about making the surprise shot. A lot of times, panic shooting results in a poor gun mount. When you, when you see that bird flush, take a second to step into the shot, stabilizing, mounting the gun, focus on the bird, see it clearly, and pull the trigger. That extra second makes all the difference in the world. Our next team is Bernie Birkenholz and the dog Armani. Bernie is the fourth ranked player in the world and has an amazing 30 super major wins. Bernie will be running a German short hair named Armani who was owned by Mike Wallace. Mike normally would run his own dog, but he couldn't make it because of personal conflict. Armani has one major and one super major title. Again, this will be Bernie's third look at the field, and I wouldn't bet against this duel. Okay. Clock is now running for Bernie and Armani. Beautiful German short hair pointer. 
Now this isn't Bernie's first time in the field today, but this is his first time running Armani in these world championships. Every time they go right there. Let's see what Bernie is thinking Why? about before this run. Okay. It's the first okay. time I ever ran this dog this weekend. Ran behind him, gun for him, anything. Um, he's a great Whoa. dog. Come on. Come ran on some here. great here. runs to get us this far into the finals. We're, uh, it's our last shot at, from what we understand, catching Stein back here, so we're going to really hope we do well. He's still looking for that first bird, and we're this deep into Oi. it. He's a minute 48 in and getting his first bird. What does this do to you, Mark? Well, obviously, you know, I mean, you, you typically like to get that first bird in under a minute, and believe me, as, as many times as Bernie has played this game, he knows that uh, he's behind the eight ball here. Here, 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 here. Come on, here. Come on, come on. He's a minute 25 down right off the bat. That's going to be tough to overcome. Right, and I just, I, I don't think a guy can ever recover from a, a two minute gate bird without some, some tremendous luck and a little bit of Oi. help. Here we are at bird three and he's already he's got a bigger time than Craig and Jackson have. There's the bird though. Miss that one too. Right here, Bernie there say, I missed that one too. He's just, he, what he's referring to there is, is he's, used, he's used to getting all here. of the bird and he's just getting a piece of it. You know he's not happy with this run, but it still looks very, very good. Dog's working hard, giving the best effort. Point. Here he goes, he's on, he's on point on bird five, and, and what our, our viewers don't know is, is Bernie actually during this run had taken a partial, which will add two minutes and 30 seconds to his final score. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Makes a nice shot there on the last bird. Good boy, here, come on, come on. Come on, here, here. Here, come on, here, 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 Good girl. Loyal for a lifetime of legendary hunt seasons. The Science of Shot. The Pattern Master BDC World Championships are brought to you by Pattern Master Code Black Upland, The Science of Shot. Loyal dog food. If the question is trust, the answer is loyal. Tritronics, making it easier for dogs to learn since 1968. Cox Unlimited, the finest pheasant hunting in South Dakota. Beaver Dam Kennels, when you want it done right. And the National Bird Dog Circuit, the ultimate upland challenge. Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. 128 teams started this week, and here are some highlights from earlier runs.
Here, Mom. Here, here. Come here. 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 Come on, Mom. Come on. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Got it, girl. Come on, Mark. Come on. Right here. Right here. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Yep. 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 And our last team this week is Mike Pyle and Ruger. Mike Pyle and his dog Ruger come to us from Wyoming. Mike is a 22nd ranked player in the BDC with a very impressive 10 Super Major wins. Ruger is a great looking German short hair pointer with two Super Major titles to his name. The bar has been set very high, but this team can definitely get the job done. All right, this is it. Mike Pyle and Ruger entering the field. What a nice looking short hair, moving well. You look at Mike, for those of us that, that know Mike and can appreciate his personality, uh, well, you see him uh, adjusting stuff. He, he wasn't totally, and still isn't totally ready to, to shoot this bird. Whoa! 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 Go, bud. Very nice shot. Go. Good retrieve coming up here. Look at the enthusiasm here. of this dog. Here. Bird one down, and he's got a five-second lead. Okay, we're on to bird three. Still just over two minutes. It's in pretty good shape here. Yeah, they are in pretty good shape here, Charlie. If this, if, if Ruger can pinpoint this bird, and it looks like he's having a little trouble doing that. Let's see what winning this event would mean to Mike. Oh, he's. Kind of a young dog, he just turned three. Kind of just getting him into where he needs to be and hoping for the best. Uh, winning worlds would just be a personal goal, goal for my dog, just a huge achievement. Point. Oh, whoa. All right, we've got another point going here. Oh, Rug. Oh, that's too bad. Ruger had a good point. And uh, good, Raj. he relocated right away, which means that the Whoa. bird wasn't there. And Mike Whoa. actually asked the judge right here, you know, Whoa. do we still have a good point? And the judge, oh, oh no. my God, Ruger nice caught, one, oh no. Nice job, buddy. That's here, terrible. Here. Now, th there's the difference right there between a uh, dog that steadies a shot and one that's not. Okay, we're now looking at close to 11 minutes on the clock and still bird five has not been found. So Mike and Ruger are, have shot themselves in the foot. And Ruger, look at Ruger run. He definitely hasn't given up. Point. This is fun to watch. And he locks in on his last bird. Whoa. The actual time is very good, but the penalties just killed him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another nice shot. My roof's go. My Looks roof, like fetch it Ruger's up. Got it. Fetch it up. Actually, he doesn't. He's struggling with the retrieve here. Fetch a it bit. up. Come on, here, here. My roof's. He's bringing it in now, and with a delivery right. at 1147, Mike and Ruger stop the clock. Oh, got unlucky. We had a kind of a weak flying bird out of the front. And that was all it wrote, that's all it took. That's all it took. Here's the loyal leaderboard for our singles pointer division. If you think back about all the strange things that happened this week, it's been quite interesting with multiple bird finds in a tight area, trap birds and partial retrieves. Through it all, Craig Steinbach and Jackson kept first place from the second run of our finals with a clean 445 run. And with that, Craig and Jackson became the Pattern Master BDC World Champions. Congratulations to all of our finalists. Now it's time for the Pattern Master Shot of the Week. And this week's shot goes to Bill Burner. Bill and Willie experienced a tremendous amount of bad luck in a very interesting ride. Bill showed us his veteran experience and composed himself on his third shot, which is a courting away teaser. 
Thinking his dog was pointing a dead bird, Bill was surely taken by surprise when this bird takes flight. Hi! And that's why Bill Burner is your Pattern Master Shot of the Week. Next week, we'll be bringing you Doubles Flusher Finals. This competition features one right, dog right, and two handlers in a bigger on, field and six birds. The dog needs to handle for both competitors yeah, yeah, yeah. and retrieve to both. Over here, you're over here. Dog work and strategy are both key factors right in this competition. Our starting field has been narrowed to the final 12 teams. Join us next week to see who brings home the Pattern Master PDC World Championship crown. This year is 2011 Pattern Master World Champion, Jackson and Craig Steinbach.